Now, before we wrap up, I want to make sure that I emphasize some of the other key components to studying and learning. In terms of emotion, I think we all inherently understand that more emotionally laden experiences are remembered more durably. We tend not to forget them. In fact, this is the basis of things like PTSD. It is the reality that one trial learning, that is exposure to something and never forgetting it, occurs very readily when the thing that we're exposed to is negative or has a very heavy negative emotional salient. So it could be something we read or something we see. Sometimes it's something that happens to us. You know, I, I don't like the idea of that, but this is true. Your nervous system is wired such, neuroplasticity is such that stressful experiences, because they deploy such massive amounts of adrenaline, epinephrine, as well as other neuromodulators, allow very quickly for the milieu, the environment of the neural circuits that led up to that experience to strengthen their connections with one trial, so-called one trial learning. This is why, sadly, although at the same time from an adaptive perspective, we say, fortunately, if you were to step outside today and God forbid, see somebody get hit by a car, you would remember that. Chances are you would remember that forever. We know that any kind of story, any kind of emotional emphasis on material, either in the delivery of that material, but certainly in the way that that material is perceived by you, like getting really excited about something you want to learn or thinking something's really awful is likely to be more readily and stably committed to your memory. And that's because of these neuromodulators like epinephrine and norepinephrine, but other neuromodulators as well that wire those experiences into your neural circuits.